We're over halfway through the season and it's been all about Manchester in the Premier League so far, but not for the reasons the red half of the city will be too pleased with. Well off the top of the league and having lost to City at Old Trafford, some will have written this season off as a failure already, but it doesn't have to be that way. Here are the five ways Manchester United can still make this season a success. After the comparatively barren Moyes and Van Gaal years, United secured their first double since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club last year. Haters will say it was only the League Cup and Europa League, and OK, they've got a point, but nonetheless, getting a new group of players used to winning things was a big step in their resurgence. Now they've got to back it up with more silverware this season. If they don't, even a second place finish, a big leap from sixth last year, might see them put a big fat L next to the 2017-18 season. Knocked out of the Copa del Carabao and with the Premier League title looking an impossibility that only really leaves the FA Cup and the Champions League. Back in Europe's premier club competition for the first time since the 2015-2016 season, Man United have arguably slipped out of the world's real elite team bracket. And although they've still been able to attract high caliber players because of their great reputation and status as a huge club, they need to start making an impact on the pitch again at the very top level. The best way to do that? A run deep into the knockout stages of the Champions League. They've got seasoned European campaigners Sevilla in the second round, which will be a tough but winnable tie, and if they can get through that, who knows how far they could go. Romelu Lukaku is a top Premier League striker, but is he the man for the big occasion? So far, you've got to say that quite literally all of the evidence points to that not being the case. Zlatan's that guy, really but he's struggled for fitness since returning to Old Trafford. And if Lukaku was to get injured for any length of time, Man United would be up shit creek without a paddle, especially with Anthony Martial and to a lesser extent Marcus Rashford having to be shoehorned in out wide. Lukaku needs to be complemented through the middle and bringing in a top quality winger like Lucas Moura, who's been linked with a January switch to United, would free up Tony and Marcus to do just that. Sir Alex Ferguson, now there was a great manager. A great manager who had some absolutely dreadful signings as well as more than a few quality ones. Cristiano Ronaldo for 12 million pounds, anyone? The point is, even the best managers bring in dud players from time to time. But as we know, January is a great time for getting trim, shifting a few pounds, or should that be top level footballers? Henrik Mkhitaryan, Daily Blind, Matteo Damian. Are they really Manchester United players? Whatever that actually means. Can they contribute and make a difference at one of the biggest clubs in the world? If they're not, then chuck them in the not a United player pile and start looking for replacements who can be a regular part of a title winning side because that has to be the aim going forward. The caveat to this whole thing is that actually United are having a pretty good season. They're well on track to get more points and finish higher than last. The problem is, as you may have noticed, Pep and City have changed the game. The narrative served up before the season was all about City and United, Guardiola and Mourinho. Who could have resisted it? Piping hot, garnished to perfection, just begging to be devoured. We wolfed it down and went back for seconds. But just because City are having a better season than United, it doesn't mean that United aren't having a good season. Not winning the title in his second year at the club might be a first and a failure for Jose Mourinho on a personal level, but in context, the same can't be said for United. Jesse Lingard, a 25-year-old academy graduate who pretty much everyone had written off as a joke player, has finally come good. Paul Pogba's been so impressive that even your dad's starting to be won round by him. David De Gea has cemented his place as the league's best goalkeeper, and they're scoring more goals than last season, and slowly, but surely, starting to get their big boy swagger back. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Those were Copper 90's five ways Man United can salvage their season. Agree or disagree with any of them? Got a different theory on how the Red Devils can make a success of the 2017-18 season? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Copper90.